Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you for joining me. We have a new game today. Uh, it is Disc Creatures. Uh, it is another monster training game inspired by early Pokemon games. Uh, since we did uh, Cormon a while back, I figured we could try this game out as well. Um, I don't know much about it other than that. Uh, so uh, let's get in here and see if we can uh, figure this out and what we need to be doing. Um, it looks like we're supposed to go out here and find. I know we need to find the town hall. But other than that, I don't know what needs to be head east and take your application to town hall. Well, let's go try. Um, it is a monster training game based in like a, uh, a disc system uh, is you'll keep your monsters on a disc. But as far as that, everything else about the game is blind. So I'm kind of interested to see how they do a lot of the stuff. Um, the graphics right off the bat reminded me of early Game Boy. Um, I had an original Game Boy, but I didn't have any other ones. So it's probably like a Game Boy Color or something to that effect. Um, so I'm interested to see how they have the battles, the story here and that sort of stuff. Let's see if we can talk to this guy here for disc R registration. I am. I'll take your application if you got everything in order. Okay, well, I think I do. I handed over my application. Okay, then Stingray is it? Looks like you're all set. Well, I don't know. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm Specs, and I'm in charge of disc R registration here at Town Hall. Um, okay, pleased to make your acquaintance. Now then, Stingray, I hereby proclaim you a licensed disc R. As you probably know, Disc R is short for Disc Ranger. As a Disc R, you may now befriend and command the many different creatures that fill our world. Of course, just because you're a Disc R now, it doesn't mean you suddenly stand a chance against a wild creature. So what, so what we do here is hand out these. So what do you hand, okay. This device is called a Disc Kid. A lot of exposition dump all of a sudden. Uh, use this to read and install creature data. Okay, all discards command their creatures using one of these devices. So um, again, I don't know a lot about the different uh, games in uh, this genre of monster training, but as in Pokemon, you kept your Pokemon on a it, or in a little ball, this seems it'd be more like a digital aspect of it that you're actually downloading the creature onto a, a you know, a disc drive of some sort. And that, uh, that reader looks a lot like a Game Boy, actually, <laughs> now that I look at it. But that's kind of the idea that I'm getting here. The disc kid looks like a Game Boy. Okay, now proudly step forward and begin your new life as an officially licensed Disc R. Okay, well, uh, it's a little clunkier than you'd think. How do people fit these in their pockets? Yeah, the Game Boy was a little clunky, but, you know, we loved it all the same. Uh, to open up the menu at any time. Okay, one of the things that I have noticed immediately is that... Which data... I want to stay in file one. Okie dokie, Stingray. The disc kid right here has a fresh new drive in it. Until you load it up with some creature data, you won't be able to command any. But here at Town Hall, we offer all new disc R free starter discs. Boot these discs up on a PC to install the creature's data to your disc kid for you to use whenever you like. Okay. We have five discs available and you can choose whatever three that you want. Interesting. There doesn't seem to be any controller support here, which is a little disappointing. Um, and I don't know how to get to the different. Uh, let's choose that one. Sure. The creatures you pick will be your first companions on your journey. Okay, that's great. Each one is a rare type. So make sure you think it over carefully. Move air up and down. Okay. Confirm is enter. 
So, okay, I got a Flame Orb, a Blade Quinn, a Electring, a Cinepion, a Cintaton, and that's it. I like this guy. He looks kind of cool, so let's pick him. Earth-type creature, sure. Do you want this creature? Yes, I do. Okay, now let's see what else we have. I could select two more. I like this fire guy, the flame orb. Let's get him. And then I kind of like this. This is interesting because other monster training games that I've played, you got to pick one of three. This we're picking three of five, which I find interesting. Uh, so we got probably a water blade Gwen or maybe an ice a Electric and what's down here. That's probably a leaf or a grass. It looks kind of like a crab What do I want here? Let's go ahead and try this guy here. He's a grass type creature. Yeah, let's go ahead and try him and see what happens So we got three uh, Yep, our three discs and I hook it up to a PC and you get Gain access to the disk Rnet. Upload the data from your disk to the disk Rnet and you'll be able to store the install the corresponding creature. Disk from the PC at any, but if you have your own PC at home, why not try it out there first? Once you manage to install them, come back and report to me here. Wow, this is very uh, exponent, uh, <laughs> expositioned up, but there's a computer here. The world is filled with a wide variety of creatures. These creatures have powers beyond our wild imaginations. There's no seeming like backstory here so far. So like on Pokemon, you have a backstory of your trainer and you want to be the best. Um, and then in the Coromon backstory is that uh, you first are sent on a mission to get information about these special uh, elite Cormon, but here you, I really don't know why I want to be a disc uh, disc R right now uh, So that's a little I don't know. I'm just wanting to be one um, Okay, I want to Get on with it <laughs> can I Okay Too much story. Let's go Read all that again. No, I do not want to read that again. I assume that that would be a computer I could use to set up okay so I gotta go back home this little I, I guess is not forced I can talk to these people and probably go off and stuff but I've got to go back home to load the uh, discs onto my thing anyway so it's a little is this was this my home I think that was my home well allow me to walk into it so I don't know okay so creature hunting tracking down some mysterious oh that's not what we wanted. An elu elusive creature known as Fangon. So I guess that that is a new type or type that I'm going to have to look at. I don't see a computer anywhere. Was there a computer upstairs? Oh, there we go. I got a computer up in my bedroom. There we go. That's kind of nice. Nifty. Let's turn it on. Okay. Hooked it up. Uh, guess disk logging on to disk net. Good. Okay, so identifying user logging in as Stingray, greeting Stingray, manage data for all your creatures, got it, boot up creature disk to increase the number of creatures you own, switch out the creatures you want to keep on your team, there we go, okay, move your page one, press the confirm button. Okay, so I want to do that and load, I guess. Gotcha, I want to load that disc. Okay. Install, yes I do. Now I should be able to install... Yeah, let's just keep them at that name. I was going to say, I should be able to install all three of them. Yeah, each new creature disc you load can install a new creature. Since your team is currently empty, this creature will be automatically placed. Awesome, thank you. The rest of your disc. I will do that. Cinepedon? He looks kind of cool. Um, I really would like in options in these games to um, like set like right at the beginning an option to never rename. 
that could be changed. Like, so I, oh, I never want to rename the things. That would be a really cool option for these because I rarely do rename them. And, um, oh, okay. So I can manage him if I wanted to. And yeah, manage, switch out, switch out creatures on your team and change their moves. No, I would not. I'll, I'll figure it out as I go. Yeah, pick it off. So how do I put them on my team? Okay, that is already on my team. Okay, so can I go back? Can I, can I get out uh, back? There we go. Can I put this guy on my team? Manage. Okay, so all three of these guys are on my team, it seems like now. Um... I guess, yeah, there we go. And I guess we go ahead and close and find out what we need to do now. Test down the PC. Oh, uh, my little birdie duck thing. I don't know what you want. It seems like it has something for you. Okay. Got a transceiver. The transceiver was added to your key items. I don't know what a tra transceiver does. Um, I probably should try to save. So let's go ahead and save. Yeah, save the game right there. Um, item. What items? What's a transceiver? It doesn't, oh, key items. Try it out whenever you're lost or stuck. Okay, I guess I will wait until I'm lost or stuck. Um, that's a very nebulous term here. Uh, so I guess now transceiver works. First open up the menu. They go to the key. Yeah, I just did that. But okay, item, key items. I'm not sure what it does. Ring me on the transceiver and I'll remind you of what you should be focusing on. Just give me a buzz. Okay. Next, you should head back to town hall. Ah, uh, okay. Um, right off the bat, and it may, if it will give it a couple episodes. But right off the bat, what I have to say about the game is there's a lot of exposition dump here at the beginning. Um, I don't mind like Kormon had a little bit of backstory telling to tell me and to get me set up, but I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. And uh, that's kind of maybe why I want to go ahead and get going and go play. Now you're free to make a name for yourself. Yes, I want to do those. And head out and collect all sorts of other creatures instead whatever you decide to do make sure you and your creatures all enjoy yourselves i will try something to make sure to tell every new disc are creatures are incredible beings the reason we humans can live the lives we all have today is thanks to them we can never have come this far without their help but they're but while they're capable of many great and wonderful things they also possess dangerous powers and now you're armed with that disc kid, you'll be in control of those powers. I hope that you and all the other discards out in the world will act responsibly and use your disc kids only for the greater good. Right then, sorry to lecture you like that. Is there anything particularly you would like to get started on now that you are an official disc or stingray? No, um, I would like at the bulletin board. Okay, people done often post requests that they need the help of discards you lend a helping hand okay i guess i go out to the bulletin board i kind of like when i come in here the the screen goes and shows me where i need to be going that's kind of nice it keeps from me from wandering around town uh for a while so that's definitely kind of nice that they do that tells me exactly where town hall is and that sort of stuff to help investigate, there have been all sorts of wild rumors flying around about Pekin Forest to the north of town here. See, there's an abandoned little hunt deep in the woods, and lately the kids in town have been treating it like some sort of haunted house. They say anyone who dares draw near it returns with no memory of what happened. Is this really the work of some supernatural being, or is it something else going on out there? Are there any discards brave enough to find out? I guess I'm going to the north and episode one, survival of the fittest. Okay, well, let's see if we can, let's go north and see if, well, how do I get out of town? 
I don't know if I need to go north, so do I need to go right or left to get out of town, or... There doesn't seem to be an out of town. What does this little sign says? Mond Tunnel. I don't think it's... Might not be that way. Let's check real quick. Run through here, and I would like to see if there's any other way out. Um, it did say the north, and I might need to go through the tunnel uh, to get to the place. Uh-oh, something's going on here. You can heal your creatures, buy items, and all sorts of stuff at this cafe. Now, how's that for service? Okay, thank you for no letting me know. I would like to... I wonder how much... Oh, there we go. That's the north. That's what I was looking for. Let's see what the sign. Get ready for the next big thing to hit disc our world. No trespassing. What do you have to say? What's this big building supposed to be? I mean, I'm not a disc R, so I don't really care or anything, but what is it? Well, if you don't care, then, uh, <laughs> why does it matter? Okay, let's see if he has the, let me, yes, we are. Some creatures, yeah, I do. I'm good to go. Wait, so I've tried your creatures out in battle yet? Let me show you the ropes. Uh-oh. There we go, our first battle. Okay, a battle appeared. I really like that I start out with three creatures. That's definitely a lot different than the other ones that I've played. First things first, select fight, then moves, then pick whatever one you want to use. Okay, so fight, moves, um, but it doesn't, how do I know who? Uh, I wonder if I could rearrange them because I might want Moves I want to attack, battle, oh, okay, so this is a lot like a, um, like a turn-based RPG in which I pick my moves first, I go through and I just pick the moves for my three people, and then they're going to fight it out, and we'll see uh, how this works out, and then I guess I'll just do it again, round two. Their creatures have green and yellow gauges. The green one is the creature's HP. As they take damage, they'll decrease. Yeah. A crash and unable to battle. Once you've taken down your opponent's green gauges, you win. Now that yellow gauge shows the creature's energy level. Creatures need energy to use their moves. They'll stuck without any way to fight. Don't worry though. There's see this is This is a little too much. I think I could intuitively figure this out. Uh, that's kind of what I figured. I mean, doing a couple rounds, I could figure out green is going to be health. All grains green or health. Um, I could have figured out energy pretty easy. Um, I could figure out the E charge. So yeah, I could have figured this is a little too much explanation here. A little too much hand holding, in my opinion. Um, round you use an E charge, it will not become a critical. If you take a hit in a round, when you use an e-charge, so we got to be careful there. Um, yeah. It, but that also means if you land a hit while your opponent is charging. Okay, I, so it works both ways. So if I'm charging or my opponent is charging uh, and we hit, it's automatic uh, critical hit, which is going to be uh, probably 150% damage. Um, this is an interesting way to do it so we got an attack here that's two there's a blast here that also costs two um there doesn't seem to be any kind of difference between the two and then i could defend and oh uh reduce damage this um let's go ahead and just set all three of them to attack again um damage yeah basic damage and then accuracy and then e cost really is not much to it but I pick those three and then it goes through the round. Basil used charm charging, so that's gonna mean a lot of damage there. That's gonna be good. Uh, I won the battle, 21 experience. That went out pretty well. Your creatures gained experience. Um, there we go. That went pretty well. I would like to figure out how to capture them though. Uh, but eight HP won't make sure you get back to disc cafe to have every so often present you're truly i get a bad battle disc and that's probably 
a brand new creature to use install that battle disc on a PC and you'll be able to add it to your team okay yeah well I could probably figure that out but I'm wondering if the battle disc is what I use to capture the um, uh, disc creatures let's run down here to the so a lot of times shops will tell us what the items are used for uh, disc cafe we know we can support discards like you you can hand over your disc kit if you would like us to rush your creatures and bring them back to full HP use PC to the right to manage your creatures and do whatever else you like everything here is done at no cost to you but so don't worry about a thing yeah go and heal my creatures I would like to see if um, this is like a healing place and maybe not be a place that I could buy things um, let's jump over here and see what this lady if she has say neat things okay yeah so let's buy I have 10 pico I don't know what a boost chance of burning a creature's data to disk may use up to five times at once so an energy and recovers 30 uh, special energy blend to cure toxin paralysis reboots a knocked out creature to half HP so there's definitely a very digital aspect here in the game and I'm kind of digging it so far um, I like the high-speed memory and that sort of stuff um, I don't really have anything um, that I would want to buy yet we gotta go get I don't have very much money either I was just curious um, I wonder if the battle that he gave me is let's go in here and see if anything happens what is that the police force they keep us safe yep no unsafe resources of creatures here nope not in Lucian town nope nope okay well that's good to know here I was just curious if this is the grass that I go through and typically that's the way it is you go through tall grass and you uh, that's the places that you can get an attack so let's go up here a little bit and see where we go we're in the Pekin forest okay so we've got uh, full of wild creatures yeah I got that if you bump into run you best be ready to battle on top of that you got to be wary of other disc R's in the area who might be itching to spar if you find yourself in a pinch make sure you head to one of those blue refresh terminals okay here if you do find yourself in a pinch and you don't think you could win but you can't run away either use this I got a surrender interesting is an item you could use in battle you automatically lose any battle you're in when you use it ah interesting that's kind of uh, interesting mechanic I like it so Pekin welcome to Pekin Forest Forest Trails Juglin and Lucian okay well let's head on and see what we can find here are these battle people might score enough data to burn a wild creature to disc just by beating them in battle so maybe that's how I burn them to disc but if you use some high-speed memory you'll have a much better chance of getting the discs you'll want I, I maybe I need to buy more discs that's what I'm thinking item menu when you're battle and choose high-speed memory okay this looks like just a lot of let's see what this is this up that's a battle okay I do like automatically a tom tomati appeared that's hilarious um that they are over that you can see the enemy instead of um being hidden it's not a random encounter like on other ones you can actually see them um so can i use okay surrender is all i have i don't want to do that um let's just go through and attack the tomatoes or tomatis um uh so yeah so i like that you can see the enemy there and not have to worry about um let's go ahead and fight uh you can even run around them they're not going to be a special trying to figure out where they are that sort of stuff acquired a tomati disc okay awesome so now i could so I just get the disc that's interesting mechanic there 
that if I beat him in battle, was this hooked to the PC? Oh, okay, so I could ill HP there. That's kind of neat. I like that because a lot of times you get stuck out somewhere and you're running back and you're trying your hardest to get back to town and you just can't get there. So that's kind of cool that that's there. But I do like that these, I could snip by these creatures if I so choose. Um, there's a disc down here. Let's see if that's just a random, a denumbin. I don't know what that is. is that just some kind of random item? So I do like that it doesn't appear to be random encounters. I do like very much so that I could avoid these battles if I so choose. But we're gonna go ahead and level up as much as I can. We got a couple more tomates. Um, I don't want to get hurt, so we're just gonna charge all these guys up and uh, attack. I'm gonna to have to energize at some point. Um, I just don't want to get a, a large... Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and check out what this E-Charge move does. Um, go and attack the Tamati and attack the Tamati. So he charged up and then, yeah, okay. That, didn't, that wasn't too bad. Um, he charged up pretty nice. And maybe what we'll do is we will... So we get a Tamati disc. It appears every time we win. And um, I'm not sure I like... We're going to have end up with a bunch of them if it's just about getting discs. I've got something you might just like, but you got to beat me in battle first. Okay, well, let's uh, see what you got. So now he has three. A Mamek, a Tama... Tomati and a Devi hat. That's kind of cool. I like them. They are level two. Oh, my energy went back down to 10, which is interesting. So I could only, I have a max energy, it looks like. Um, every turn almost. That's weird. Um, I find that very odd that I start out with 10. I would rather have had, um, you know kept that if i if i e energize if i energized in a turn um i would like to um be able to you know keep that in the next battle I, that lucky e energy thing i'm not sure what that was about uh but let's keep hitting on the guy over here and see what we could do i'm interested in the whole set up the moves prior i've never played a um, RPG that did it that way. He he did slobber. Is that the attack he did? That's hilarious. That's too funny. Um, so we're gonna do him and then we're gonna have him attack the Tamati because he is just about out of damage and I figure my first guy, especially now that he did an E-charge, is gonna be taking him out pretty good. Um, Cretan. So we, we got a, a few different attacks here, which is kind of nice. You know, the nice thing um, here, um, well, my centipede couldn't move, I think because he was in the pit that the uh, other guy created, but I could set this up and have them attack. And then I could sit and talk while this action goes out and it lets me, you know, kind of bring back a little bit and not think as heavily as the action's going on. And it makes it a little bit easier to do the, um, you know, the talking and the commenting and the, uh, that sort of stuff. So I kind of like that, uh, set that up. So, but we're just going to keep on smashing on this Tomati. It doesn't look like it's going to be a hard battle here. Um, we're getting a little bit of damage, but I don't think enough to make it really devastating here. Um... But let's go on and see what happens. He uses a knee charge, which is going to make it awesome because, yeah, we're going to be able to knock him out pretty easy with that, uh, the E charge. Uh, we gained a bunch of experience, it looks like that. You see your disc kid for a second. No, you can't. Uh, he, wouldn't you just take it out of my hands? Hook, uh, hook this in over here and wire this up just like that, and boom, there you have it. What did you do to it? has been modded with a move changer so I could change moves on the fly which it moves from okay but who wants to walk all the way back to yeah okay so I could do it on the fly now is what okay 
a menu and select a move changer. Going to give it a try. Still got to head back to PC if you want to switch your, out your creatures though. Okay, so if I just come up here and pull this up, move changer, I could pick one of them, I think, and select one of his different moves uh, once he learns them. Okay, okay, I like that. That's kind of neat. I can do it on the fly like that. Um, Go back, powered off the move changer. Okay, that's kind of neat. What else do we got here? So we got item we could use, a status, we could sort them. So let's say if I wanted to, um, I wanted my, my, my sit upon first and then my flame orb, but that's kind of the order I chose them in. Um, that's kind of neat. I kind of like what we got here. What we got going definitely is interesting. We definitely want to go back and heal a little bit. Uh, my energy, yeah, see, hmm, definitely a lot going on here to unpack as we're trying to figure this game out. Uh, so far, it's not a bad, it's going pretty well. Can I go in the water? Uh, somehow it doesn't seem like I can get over that. Their little bridge under construction, sorry for the inconvenience. Okay, looks like there's something there, like one of the, uh, disc creatures over there causing a problem in the water that we might have to end up dealing with later. Look at that, we're already out of time. So I guess it's a pretty good game. You look at it and it's like, um, you know, uh, not ha about halfway through time and then uh, all of a sudden you are, um, I wanted to hook up and heal, that's what I wanted to do. And then you're already out of town. So let's seal this up. Let's go ahead and save it. And then we'll continue. I think we'll take another look at it. The exposition dump in the beginning was a little frustrating, but uh, I think there's something here. Uh, I really do like the digital concept that they've in put into the game and put into the monster training uh, genre. Uh, but we'll see how it develops. There's uh, definitely a lot to unpack. We got three creatures going out and we got to find... Uh, other things and other creatures and go exploring so thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it and i will see you all next time bye everybody